a number of earnings results out here after the bell. So let's take a look at some of the top trending tickers here. We have Alphabet, Microsoft, Spotify, Mattel, and Texas Instruments. Let's kick it off with Alphabet. You're looking at shares decline here after hours. A company missing on both the top and bottom lines. YouTube ad revenue falling during the quarter to 7.1 billion. The estimate on the street was for 7.4 billion, off nearly 6% after hours year to date. Shares off 27%. Moving on to Microsoft, that stock under pressure as well, despite beating on the top and bottom lines. What Wall Street is focused on is that cloud revenue growth. That disappointed during the quarter. That softer than expected cloud revenue weighing on shares here. Azure revenue growth of 35% was down from 40%. In the previous quarter, taking a look at the intelligent cloud business overall, revenue there trolling 20.3 billion Microsoft shares off nearly 1.7% now in extended trading year to date off 25%. Taking a look at Spotify, you can see shares selling off there after hours weaker than expected forecast for fourth quarter gross margin. That's what's weighing on the stock with shares off just around 6%. Third quarter numbers, revenue coming in line, 21% growth on a year over year basis. A monthly active users, a key number here, 456 million. That's up 20% year over year and better than expected. Despite that though, stock off 6% over the past three months. You're looking at a drop of just around 12% year to date. Let's pull it up there, off 58%. Taking a look at Mattel, another decliner here after hours. Shares off nearly a 5%. Lower full year profit guidance, larger hit from the stronger dollar. That is weighing on the stock here. For a third quarter, sales were flat. Profit also declined. Concerning here as we head into the very important, or as we are in the very important holiday sales period. Taking a look at year to date, stock off just around 8%. Comparing that to the broader market, Mattel has actually fared relatively well. And rounding it out with Texas Instruments here, you can see the stock off just around 5% fourth quarter revenue and EPS guidance coming in light. The company saying that they see weakness broadened into the industrial market. They expect most markets to decline sequentially there. Obviously, that's reflected in the after hours move. Inventory below desired level. Also see order cancellations increasing during the current quarter. Taking a look year to date, you can see Texas Instruments off just around 14% extended trading after these numbers broke. Shares off about 5%. Dave, a lot okay. of losses here across the board. A lot. Google Cloud, probably the winner of the day if you got to pick one, I True. suppose. A huge earnings afternoon today, a big earnings day on tap tomorrow as well with Boeing, Ford, and Meta all reporting.